Antarctica is often described as the world's last great wilderness. It's the coldest and most remote continent on Earth and a sanctuary for wildlife. But even here, man-made pollutants are contaminating the ecosystem. Burak Karacik is a marine biologist and part of the Turkish Antarctic expedition. He's researching just how much humans have polluted these waters. But to get his samples, he has to dive beneath the waves. I'm ready to dive. Let's see. Gliding to the seafloor, Burak is looking for polyaromatic hydrocarbons. They're molecules produced by the burning of fossil fuels, brought here by ocean currents and the wind. They can be found everywhere in this environment. But the easiest way of collecting samples and testing their concentration is by scooping them up in the seafloor's sand and sediment. The waters that Brock is diving in are below zero degrees Celsius, but the samples that he's collecting will be vital for scientists to understand just how much humans have polluted the waters of Antarctica. <laughs> just as Brock gets his sample, he's approached by a curious visitor. Fur seals were once hunted almost to extinction. Now their numbers have bounced back into the millions. But the pollution that Brock is finding here could directly affect these seals and other animals that call Antarctica home. In here, it will accumulate inside the penguins or seals or any other animals, and they will reduce the population. They will stop their reproduction. They, their chicks will die because of the pollution, because it's, it will make like cancerogenic effect, mutagenic effect. It will destroy their lives, actually, the delicate ecosystem. Traveling north, we reach the Le Maire Channel, an 11-kilometer strait nicknamed the Kodak Gap. Rich with krill, it's a popular feeding ground for humpback whales. And it's not long before we see one. Here, Burak is testing for microplastic contamination. Eight million tons of plastic are dumped into the oceans each year. Over time, it breaks up into tiny pieces and finds its way into the marine food system. Small fibers from the clothes, you know, washing machines. Every time you wash any clothes, at least 6,000 fibers, microfibers, are goes to the water. Even they find it in beer, you know, in Germany. Their Bavarian beer contained microplastic. It was once thought that Antarctica was remote enough to escape man's heavy footprint. Now, though, the evidence suggests that even this seemingly pristine and protected environment isn't safe. Adi Jalandar, TRT World, Antarctica. <laughs>